um, don't mind Coco Melon playing, I saw that a lot of people had questions about Kerf um, and what it is and why it matters and why you would need a Kerf tool and calipers. Um, so I'm going to try my best to do a really quick video. Um, it's just how I do it. It works really well for me and hopefully it'll work for you guys so um, you won't waste materials uh, and for designers when you're working with designs that require Kerf. Maybe it'll help you um, better explain to others what's going on. So let's just jump in because I have my two kids here and they will interrupt at some point. Um, calipers, why these are relevant and important. It's for your base and the tabs, okay? So this is my little design. This is the base. So I use my calipers to find out how wide, how tall, how the height of my base. Now this is 3M wood, but I don't know if you can see this. It's not, it's, it says 2.9. So it's not three millimeters, it's 2.9 in height. And why that matters is if I were to cut my tabs at three millimeters, when my base is truly 2.9, when you pop it in, it won't go all the way in. So you'll be able to see part of the base or it'll wobble out, okay? So that's why that's relevant. So now that I know this is 2.9, I only wanna make my height of the part that's gonna go into the base. Um, 2.9 so that I know it's not gonna sit up higher okay so that's part one part two um, done with my calipers now is the curve tool so in the design I've got I don't know if you can see so 3.3 millimeters 3.2 3.1 3 and so on and so forth all the way down um, it's a range for what the three millimeter wood might fall into and why that matters is because in the design the squares on this kerf tool are true 2.8 millimeter, 2.7 millimeter in the design. Now, you would think that then, since we know that's 2.9, my tree, which was cut from that same wood, would fit in the 2.9, but look what happens if I pop it in the 2.9. See how wobbly that is? And why that's happening is because when your laser cuts these squares, it singes away part of the wood, and it's very minimal, the singe, but it's enough to make a big wobble. So if I were to cut the width, the width of my slot to 2.9, it would wobble because it would actually cut it a little bit bigger. So you use your curve tool and you pop it in. Okay, so 2.8 gives me a pretty darn snug fit. So my slot here, I would not make it 2.9 wide because it would wobble. I would make it 2.8, if that makes sense. And then your tree will fit. I'm doing this backwards, it's hard for me. <laughs> your tree would fit into your slot snugly. So now no wobble and turn it upside down, no glue. You can't see the base either, and underneath, it's in there. Nice and flush, so when it sits, it stays and it doesn't pop up. I hope that makes sense, and I hope that helps. 